Hey, what's going on, guys? Showcasing here my 1999 BMW E36 M3 in techno violet. I'll do a little walk around on it. The purpose I'm making this video is because I am getting the Vader seats redone on it. And wanted to share with you guys the cost of what goes into reupholstering them. Like I said, this is a 1999 in Techno Violet. Had this car for about 10 years now. Oh, a little over 10 years. Um, I bought this back in, I believe, April 27th, 2011, if I remember correctly. Um, and uh, it's been a great car. Um, I love it. And uh, here, let's show the interior. It's a Mulberry. Turn on the lights here. Uh, that didn't help very much. But as you can see, the seats are pretty torn. The bolstering is just shot. I got a kit on Autoberry uh, seat covers. So um, I'm going to be dropping it off at the upholstery shop to have it redone because they need it. Um, the passenger seat isn't as bad, but uh, the driver's seat is definitely shot. Here, I'll show you passenger seat. I apologize if the video isn't perfect. Um, it's my first time shooting this. Just going to do a one take. Yeah, the passenger seat ain't too bad, but I'm just going to have it done just in case... Uh, you know, I already have the skins, so might as well just have them both done. Um, I got a new shift knob. That one was shot, the original ones. But I bought an OEM from the dealer shift knob. And I wanted to just kind of restore the car to kind of where it originally, with original everything, the way it looked. Um... Thinking about having the window tent taken off. The only reason I went with this dark window tent is because um, at the time when I got it tinted, um, it had a lighter tint on it, but I wanted to protect the interior as much as possible. So that's why I went over the full dark. And I, at that time, I wanted that privacy too. But I mean, now with this car of how rare they're getting, I mean, you can hardly even find these anymore. Um, uh, yeah, I just want to kind of make it look... OEM stock, you know, it, it is slightly modified. I'll talk about more modifications in a different video, but um, it is an awesome car, and I kind of just want to restore it. Oh, yeah, I have a little bit of a paint lift here. You can see I started noticing that when I was washing it the other day. Um, but um, it is not perfect. It's got quite a bit of rock chips. Um, when I got it, it was definitely abused. Um, it looked like somebody tracked the car before. Um, the wheels were really scuffed up. These are uh, um, refurbished wheels. Um, they're OEM, but they've been reconditioned. Um, and uh, the other ones that were on there when I got it, um, were just completely shot. I mean, they were scratched up, curved. Um, one of them had a huge bend in it. It still held air, but it was just, I don't know how the heck somebody caused so much damage to the wheel that, that, that bad and, and have it still hold air. But anyways, uh, oh, I forgot to mention the mileage. Uh, the car has, if 
I remember correctly, 165,000 miles on it. Let's see if we can... 165,362 miles on it. But yeah, it's finished in that mulberry interior, that mulberry gray, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Um, but I'll make an update video on how much it cost to get these Vader seats redone. And, uh, and, uh, uh, the, um, the, the after of how they look. So, um, big shout outs to, um, Nathan's BMW workshop. I watch his videos on BMWs and, uh, uh, I, I know that, uh, Obsessed Garage YouTube channel, they also, uh, he has a Techno Violet he picked up. The, um, his is a lot cleaner than mine, but, um, and nonetheless, they kind of inspired me to start my thing and showcase my, uh, uh, Techno Violet. Um, so, um. Yeah, I'm thinking about, even though I just got these wheels not too long ago, um, I'm thinking about um, still looking for a set of those. I believe that they're, they're called uh, um, M double spoke wheels. Uh, they're like a style 24. Um, they're on Obsessed Garage's uh, Techno Violet. Um, I, I'm looking for similar wheels like that for mine. Um, oh yeah, and I got to get that trim piece there. Um, the other one fell off. Um, yeah, well, it didn't completely fall off. It was just kind of slightly coming off, and I just bought a brand new OEM. I have it somewhere laying around. I gotta put it on. But, uh, anyways, uh, um, I will upload a new video once uh, those new uh, uh, leather kit is on there. All right, thanks.